Hey guys, welcome to our channel, before starting the video if you have not subscribed our channel till now then please subscribe it, and if you have not watched our previous videos then watch it, those will help you to understand this. In this video, we will see how to remember MeWorks and web application, before the start. Anything let's run and see whatever we added till now it's working fine or not. I replaced junk data with some kind valid data. Before continue change logout link because it does not look like a link so we'll add a href attribute and anchor tag. See now logout is looking like a link. Everything is working fine so let's add remember me feature. Let's add the checkbox for remember me. See remember me checkbox is coming let's add backend code. It's looked like Eclipse issue so better will change package presentation. Again need to add some changes in spring security configuration file so remember me is nothing but maintain cookies in the browser so when you select remember me checkbox then based on the time setting it will store information in the browser cache. So in the meantime, if you hit the browser it won't ask you to log in. Here I set time for 2 minute. Let's restart. I will show you where browsers store such kind of information. Before continue with first see what is J session ID. J session ID is an ID generated by servlet containers like Tomcat or Jetty and used for session management in J2E web application for HTTP protocol. The ID is sent to client either within a cookie or as a part of URL. As you can see, when I log in automatically J session ID created. And as I delete and refresh the page then again asking for login. Once I logged in and open any application related URL in any tab it maintains session. See it's working because of J session ID stored in a cookie. Let's see how to remember me works. If I check to remember me checkbox then that also become a part of the cookie. See remember me also coming in the cookie. See, in this case whatever token validity seconds mentioned in the configuration, let's test some scenario. If fire is tarred browser then again asking for login. Instead of 2 minute let's change to 3 minutes. It's happening because I'm hitting the wrong URL. See now it is not asking for login. I hope you understood the concept.
see it's working so if I check to remember me then don't need to log in. And once the timeout is expired then it will ask for login again. Token validity expired and asking for login. Let's review whatever we added. I hope you like this video, then please subscribe our channel.